All right, maybe you know Sarah Reich from the show So You Think You Can Dance. Or maybe you've been following her career as a pop culture ambassador for tap dancing. She has a huge following, and she is in Pittsburgh right now to share her joy of tap, teaching a master's class and putting on four incredible shows at the Greer Cabaret Theater, presented by the Pittsburgh Dance Council and Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. Selena Papiani is with Sarah right now to find out more and get a lesson herself a little later. <laughs> hey, Selena. Heather and David, I am so excited to be here. Sarah Reich is a fabulous tap dancer. She is the queen of tap dancing. I have my shoes on already here at the Greer Cabaret Theater. I am ready to go. I can't wait for my lesson coming up. But we first want to welcome her to Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh Today Live. So good to have you here on the show. Thanks for having me, Selena. How are, how are we all doing? <laughs> We are great, and we're just so happy to be here with you. Tell us a little bit about your style, because you're very modern, and you're bringing a lot to the tap world. Thank you so much. Well, tap dancing is an American art form, and there's so much variation to it in styles. But I'm so fortunate. I grew up in Los Angeles, and I have studied with some of the most amazing tap dancers of all time, ranging from styles of very traditional tap dancing with arms and presence from, like, real hoof and rhythm tap, improvisation, jazz tap dancing. So it's, it's really a range of it all, but I just really like to focus on the musicality of tap dance. And you have an awesome show starting tonight here at the Greer Cabaret Theater, and you'll be using a lot of your album into the show as well. Tell me about your album. This is incredible. It's a tap dance album, right? Yes, correct. It's called New Change, and it features original music that I co-wrote in collaboration with musicians, writing songs stemming from tap rhythms. So if I were to create a tap idea, scat it to a musician, and they would pretty much play what I just scattered melodically. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I've been writing music. And so it's all originals. We'll be playing a lot of the songs tonight and throughout the run. Um, while also keeping the legacy alive, I have um, my mentors speaking on the album as well. So it's also an educational tool. I love it. Well, you have a special guest in the show as well. Yes. Come on over here, Enrique. Tell me about his performance in the show. This is Enrique Rosario. He's amazing. He's <laughs> 18 years old from North Carolina. Are you happy to be here with us? I'm ecstatic to be here with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I like to showcase uh, the next generation as well. Um, not saying that I'm so old, mm. but um, you know, I just I see so much talent in this young man. He's an incredible improvisational artist, um, and so I like to showcase the next generation. And I love having him with me. We have a great time on stage together. How do you like performing with Sarah? I love performing with Sarah. I've worked with her for around uh, four years now, and every time it just gets better and better. So it's just amazing to be here. We can't wait. This kicks off tonight at 8 o'clock. She also has a workshop she'll be doing later this afternoon. But I also want to bring over Randall Miller from the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. This is a big deal to have a performer like Sarah and Enrique, too, in town. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, uh, it's always a big deal when we bring a company to town. Uh, I was telling you earlier that, you know, Sarah and Enrique are in good company because the other tap dancers we've done in the 20th century have been Gregory Hines, Savion Glover, and Michelle Dorrance. Mm -hmm. so. And this is a big year for you as well because it's the 50th anniversary. Yeah, it's the 50th anniversary of the Dance Council, so we're taking the opportunity to do some big things, doing things outside of traditional spaces and spaces we've never done before. So we had origami out at the River at the Arts Festival this year. We just did a piece in a cathedral with the Mendelssohn Choir as well. And so this is the first time we've presented dance, the Dance Council has presented dance in the Greer Cabaret Theater. Um, and I think this is the perfect show to do it. I do too, so make sure you check it out. We have a link on our website. We'll have a link to their website so you could see the availability for the show and all the info on their upcoming shows here as well. We're going to send it back to you for now, Heather and David, but we will be back. Stay tuned. I can't wait for you to see these two performing live. Plus, I may show you what I can do too, so that's all coming up. We can't wait for that. We want to see you dance, Selena. Yeah, she's going to be good. I and know. you were ready to do it, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> no I can't.